Hello! Today we're going to be talking about this little fella and how we can make it the best it can possibly be. You are UAV. So, uh, a couple of things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be touching on um, the ESC part and configuration. And then we're going to be touching on the flight controller configuration. Uh, which is actually just a one in one and all uh, board instead of the uh, tiny whoop. And for that, uh, it's best to use the expertise of the gentleman at Project Mockingbird. And that is Mr. Patrick Clark. Praised be. He has spent a lot of time uh, learning and configuring these so they have the best... Um, possible flight uh, uh, conditions and I wanted to spread the good word and just you know allow people to have the best possible experience that they can uh, using these little uh, tiny whoops now if you don't know what this is uh, do you are UAV it's a little uh, tiny whoop but it uses brushless motors and this version that I have here in my hand uses the 17 uh, 1000 kV uh, but there's a new version already uh, available I think mostly in Banggood uh, that uses uh, the 19,000 kV which is the UK UAV and the US UAV this is still the old version but it works it works phenomenally works pretty well so uh, before I start into the configuration things I'm gonna uh, note a couple of stuff that uh, might be uh, uh, that you might not be aware and one of them is the props that you should use now if you haven't seen yet I've done a little um, review on props versus uh, e well each in props versus TBS props and what's the benefit for each and it should be a little link here uh, that you should be able to go and check out and or, and, and see for yourself which ones would be more apt for you. Um, I tend to prefer for normal flights these uh, Ichin ones, and then for racing, probably the TBS ones, which have higher pitch, but are going to drain your battery a lot more. Uh, also for this little drone, obviously, if you haven't gotten yet, uh, you need the bigger MXCP batteries, uh, not the old-style ones that... Uh, we used to have i think nowadays most of the batteries that are coming out are this uh, mscp type um so to start you might notice that my props are the front ones are spinning out and the uh, back ones are spinning in that's because the this is the way that project mockingbird tells you that you should put the uh, whoops, uh, the, the whoop props. Uh, and why? If you have ever seen a like an old tiny whoop, you will have noticed that they use this exact configuration, which is the opposite of regular um, quads that you use. and um, Or even other tiny whoops. Like, for example, I have a, an example here of another, the beat FPV tiny whoop, and the props are spinning inwards. I think most... Uh, beta flight type quads the prop spin inwards but we want to emulate the uh, tiny whoop in that tricks which several people around the world and Jess, jesse perks in, including think uh and correctly that it's the best tiny whoop handling uh, uh there there is so w patrick uh tried to make the system so you get that tiny whoop inductrix experience in your flight. So first and foremost, you have to probably uh, take the props off from your uh, tiny whoop. Uh, if you have the tri-blades, just pin them, they're terrible. Get some Ichin ones or some uh, uh, TBS ones, you, you won't regret it. And then once you pop them off, you will need uh, for that a uh, little tool to pop them off if you don't have these these are very very cheap you can find them everywhere really there you go there goes a prop um and you need to put them with the front props 
rotating outwards like that and the back props rotating inwards so once you've done that we're gonna need to plug in a USB directly to the computer and we're gonna check what to do next right so we are here now in BL Heli configurator uh, remember that this is a video so if you have if you need to see something you can always pause it or I've also put all the, the, the link to the instructions written by Mr. Patrick on the description so you can get that link you don't need to even watch the whole video you can just get that link if you want to go at your pace and um, follow all the instructions uh, throughout this video I'm gonna do a couple of things that I normally do uh, maybe they are slightly different to um, what Patrick is saying in his documents or not uh, not even there but I, I prefer to do it this way uh, for myself uh, but it's up to you to decide what best suits you. So let's go ahead and connect to BL Heli. And you just need to select the correct port for me, 45, and then click connect. Uh, remember that for this to work, you have to have a battery already connected to your little um, flight controller. Click read setup, and hopefully, you get to this screen where it's going to tell you what ESCs you have connected. Uh, for uh, and what's the um, starter protocols that you have on all of them so Mockingbird suggests that the step one is to go to be a heli and then update to 16.7 for turtle mode uh, this is already so 16.7 uh, if it's not all you have to do is click on flash all select the version 16.7 official and then click flash and it will flash all of them one by one then the second thing um, is to reverse the motor direction because as I mentioned we're gonna use props out configuration uh, and to reverse the motor direction you just have to go here to this uh, menu and say reversed for all of the options while it flashes it's fine it should be fine hope it's fine reverse reverse reversed so all of them are re reversed now and then uh, the other thing that uh, Mockingbird v3 suggests is to set the startup power at 1 which is already so the different things that I do is to take away the programming by TX and to adjust this to thousand and two thousand that allows me to have the best, uh, well, the the most um... shut up, cat. <laughs> allows me to have the most um, the bestest resolution I can on the motors. Thousand to thousand. Uh, also beep strength and uh, like I'll raise it just a tiny little bit doesn't really matter it's so quiet that you won't be able to hear it and then uh, that's pretty much it for the BL Heli setup so once you're done flashing to the correct um, version 16.7 and if you want so I do this you set it up to 1000 and 2000 and the motor uh, timing um, you can also set to medium high, although the motors are so tiny that you're not gonna really experience anything different from this. So you can leave it at uh, medium if you want. Uh, you can play with this by yourself. So once you're done with all of this, you click uh, right setup to make sure that all the other differences that uh, all the other things that you changed get recorded. You can see it's all here, and that's all done for the BL Heli configuration. Now we're gonna go to the Betaflight configuration. Right, so here we are in Betaflight now. Uh, and uh, first things first, you should flash your board to the latest uh, firmware. So right now it's 3.5.3. Uh, if you have a crazy B, um, 
FR Sky, you select the option that says FR Sky, and if you have the Fly Sky option, you would select the Fly Sky. And uh, the X, I guess, is for the uh, Spectrum users. So FR Sky, select the option, load firmware, and then flash the firmware. Uh, keep in mind that if if this doesn't turn into DFU and if it doesn't flash, you just need to find the Impulse RC driver and run that update um, and then it should be able to flash this correctly so i'm not gonna go and run through every single aspect of the um manual that Pactor did uh instead i'm gonna show you how i have my uh setup done uh so I just go to welcome click connect and we should go into my setup Right, so uh, first and foremost, we go to ports. Uh, everything is disabled for the Serial X because we're going to use D8 protocol. Uh, slightly faster. Uh, that's all. That's why. So the next page is configuration. And this, I have almost everything set up the same as Patrick has. So the motor direction is reversed. This shot is set to 300 because this is the only... Um, is the only way that you can actually have the uh, turtle mode uh, enabled. Then motor stop is disabled, so it means that whenever you arm, the motors are going to start uh, spinning. Uh, and the motor idle throttle is a bit higher, uh, just because I've, I, I prefer this way. So uh, every motor spins. Uh, eight by two on the frequency setup. And then here on the Armin you have 180 and this is uh, so that whenever it's um, upside down or whatever position it is you can always arm so 180 is 180 degrees that means the craft can be however it is on the floor uh, then on the camera setup I have a 15% I think that uh, Patrick recommends from 8 to 20 which is the same as your camera angle should be uh, for racing and then for the receiver SPI uh, RX and as I mentioned before I'm running D8 so if uh, it's FR Sky D uh, I found personally that FR Sky X doesn't work very well so I went with D as Patrick also recommends uh, then the only thing that I have enabled is telemetry here again something different I have air mode always on uh, OSD uh, anti-gravity and dynamic filter are on as well as Patrick recommends. Uh, for the uh, beacon, I set it to 5 and then I enable the RX lost and RX set. Uh, and then the only other thing that's enabled is the crash flip. So whenever you flip uh, and you enable the crash flip mode, it's going to start beeping. So on the power and battery, remember that uh, this is a very powerful um, 1S tiny whoop that means that it's gonna suck your battery dry so make sure that you're not uh, letting your battery go to complete waste or destroying every single battery that you fly every single time but le by letting it go to too low um, my recommendation is if, if you're flying uh, so normally the minimum volt so it should be a bit lower maybe like 3.2.9 and uh, warning cell should be a 3.2. Uh, so don't go lower than 3.2, 3.1, because you will probably destroy your battery. And then the most important is the pit tuning. Now this will look a bit weird to you, especially this part for the super rates here. Uh, all the other settings are set like uh, Patrick uh, recommended, except for the R. C rate, um, everything else should be exactly the same. So you have here the P's, the I's, the D's, uh, feed forward, it doesn't really speak about, so I left it as default. And then the RC rate, he says that uh, for roll it should have a zero, but this is for angle mode only. So what I've done is I've set the RC rate to one, uh, which means that when you're flying in angle you fly exactly the same as if it is zero and if you fly in acro mode it's a very very strange uh 
type of situation where you can actually fly it in angle almost as you fly it in angle so give this a try if you don't like it uh, just follow the um, the uh, presets that uh, Patrick made for you guys uh, and for if you're flying in acro you're gonna have to up this super 8 uh, to 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 0.84 I think uh, otherwise try this option if it, it literally feels like you're flying still in angle mode except that you can turn however you want uh, there's no limit to how much you can turn and you can uh, uh, well you cannot um, roll like do fast rolls or pitches when you have this set up to this uh yeah all the rest is exactly the same receiver same thing oh uh sorry i forgot something actually in the filter settings you have the same setup as well as for the default so i didn't change anything here uh receiver same same uh and then in modes i have arm angle i actually have angle set up to take two um two parts of my one of my three part switch so the regular part would be here it's still an angle if i move it to the middle it's still an angle but aux4 as well if i move it to uh, the middle so the same switch when i move it to the second time it's still an angle but the osd goes off so this is useful for me when i want to record and not have like the osd and uh, just uh, on the screen all the time and then the third one is nothing so it means that it just goes to acro mode uh, and then the last switch is the beeper and the uh, crash over flip i set it to the exact same two switches uh, and last but not least you have the ost and i just have like the volt voltage on top the um, rssi bell on top left and then the um, milliamp spent and the battery here on the bottom left and then the time this is just a timer too so how long it's been armed on the bottom right and uh, that's pretty much it really i don't have anything else but if you want to make their life easier for you just go on to um either patrick's um cli dump he has it in his uh, manual as well and I've put my own personal CLI dump also in my comments. So pick one, pick whatever the one you want and uh, put it in your craft. And I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and that you share this with your friends. Obviously, if they have a UR65, uh, it does really make it fly a lot different than the original one. But if you don't like it, just remember to back up the stuff that you had before and uh, obviously you can always go back to what you had before but i think i think you will like it it's quite different than what uh what it comes out from factory and patrick did an amazing job so kudos to him that's all that the video has for today uh, remember if you're not subscribed yet why not subscribe to this amazing channel i thank you all. and it also uh Look at these videos here on the left. Wow, they always pop up there. So amazing. Uh, thank you. My cat also says bye. So bye bye. <laughs>